Hey there. Uh, I'm going to suggest that you use Xcode instead of using iTunes. And um, as I said in my post, a couple of reasons are, uh, first of all, I think that this is the preferred method. Um, it's a little bit more straightforward. And it should give you more feedback as far as if you have a problem with your certificates. Um, and additionally, you can use, once you know how to do this, you can use Xcode to debug your app and look at the output of the console. So the first thing you need to do is go to the App Store and locate Xcode and download it and install it. And this could take some time because it's a pretty big download. I think it's like uh, 3 gig, something like that, maybe 5 gig. Anyways, once you've got it installed, what you'll want to do is run it. Let me find it here. And it's going to come up and it's going to look like this, which isn't very useful. And you'll want to go to Window devices. Now make sure your device is plugged in. So my iPad is plugged in. Now the first time you do this, you'll click on your, it'll, it should start off on your Mac, and you'll click on your device out of the list. And what it will do is it'll have some kind of button here, I believe, that'll say something about registering as a uh, enabled developer mode or something to that effect. And you, you'll want to click that. And then once your device is good to go, it should look like this. If it is not working, you'll get like a little red dot or some kind of, the interface has recently changed, but you'll get a warning either here in the list or over here telling you that there's a problem with your certificates. But assuming your certificates are good and your device is um, good to go, all you gotta do is build your app just like you normally would. And then I, put all of my outputs onto my desk and then all you gotta do is open this window here if it's not already folded out, the installed apps window, drag your app here onto the window, replace if it asks you to, wait a few moments, and you're done. Now um, when you first run this, another thing you're gonna see is the window will probably look like this there this little tiny carrot down here, or a little arrow. What you need to do is go ahead and click that, and then you may need to move your mouse around here a bit to find the top of it, and you'll want to expand it a little bit, make it taller, because I think by default it's only eight or ten lines, which isn't very useful. And this here is the debug output, the console that I was talking about. So let's go ahead and clear it, and then I'll start up my device. Go ahead and clear it again, and then we'll just start up one of the apps that I've been working on. And just check for output here. So this isn't very interesting, but um, let me see if I can find another app that's a little more interesting to watch the output for. All right, so. Um, some flurry output, some other stuff that I'm currently working on for one of my clients. Uh, the point is here is that you will, I believe, find this to be a much more uh, valid or useful tool, and you'll get the debug output, which is extremely useful if you're not already doing this. All right, well, I hope this helps, and uh, best of luck on your installation problems.